Hello, uh, good afternoon. We're out here in Contra Costa County. I'm Matt O'Donnell, Public Information Officer for District 4. We're out here with Andrew Baskerville. Uh, Andrew, if you could, uh, tell me just what we're looking at out here. Well, so what we're looking at right here right now is the new Lane 3 of Eastbound 80 that we just pulled from Willow Avenue all the way up through Cummings Skyway. Um, so going from the towns of Hercules up to Crockett. Um, you'll notice that that's, uh, it's brand new concrete. It's got the white curing compound on it. Uh, hopefully when you drive over it as well, you'll notice that there are no joints in it. Uh, the type of concrete that we put down here today is called CRCP, or which stands for Continuously Reinforced Concrete Pavement. And so this is something that Caltrans can't do without a very long closure because the concrete we're putting down requires 12 hours to cure so we can't have vehicles driving over it for that, that period of time. So this is not a material that we can use on a, one of our typical overnight closures. Uh, we need these long weekend closures in order to, to install this. If you could tell me, uh, once all the work is done, what can motorists, residents, uh, just people in the community, what can they expect to see out here? Okay, so when you're driving on uh, this lane after this weekend, uh, you will notice that lane number three is really smooth. Uh, there are no joints, so you won't feel that, that regular bump that you usually feel when driving along uh, uh, concrete pavement. Um, we will be coming back out again. Uh, in every two weeks, we will be back out doing another lane and uh, moving from eastbound over to the westbound lanes for the Labor Day weekend. So we are going to repeat this same process again, a total of uh, four times. And each time we do it, there'll be another lane that's completed. Uh, so the focus right now will be on the eastbound lanes, lanes number two and three, the two center ones. Um, and uh, then for over Labor Day, we're going to try and do both lanes, uh, two and three westbound at the same time. So we're going to do twice as much work as what we've done on, on the, the eastbound uh, weekends. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, if you could tell me what was really unique about this project uh, from a construction engineering standpoint. Well, what was really unique about what we did this weekend was that we, we placed, at, well, we removed and replaced uh, over 5,000 cubic yards of concrete paving. That is something, uh, or the magnitude of it is something that we at Caltrans have not done uh, statewide yet. And so working with a contractor that has a lot of equipment, uh, Vanguard Construction, uh, they have really been able to give us the resources to be able to pull off a major closure and a major scope of work like this and just just the one weekend. Would you say the project so far going better than expected? Um, yes, uh, you know every construction project has some hiccups, um, you know, but we had a lot of different contingency plans and uh, you know we implemented those contingency plans as different things came up. So I think uh, the contractor, the subcontractors, uh, all of the Caltrans folks involved on this, uh, we really put a lot of thought into what could go wrong and we planned for that. And, and, you know, we, we kept the job moving and we got done uh, hopefully a few hours early. We'll be opening this to traffic. How would you say the teamwork went uh, in, on, among Caltrans? Uh, it's, it's great. You know, we've got uh, a good working relationship with all of our contractors. We really stress the idea of partnering with our contractors. So in this case, the contractor came to us with an idea. They had the resources or more resources than we, uh, we thought were available in the industry. and. Uh, with, with their partnership and working together, we were able to uh, uh, really pull off a, you know, a major scope of work. Uh, thanks so much, Andrew. Is there anything you'd like to add that, the, that would really help the public understand this project? Um, well, you know, I would like to say thank you very much for everyone that stayed out of the area. Um, you're working with our traffic management crew. Uh, they were monitoring the traffic on local streets as well as our highway system. And it seems like, um, you know, the volume of traffic that 80 would usually see was diverted over to 680 and 580 and other routes. And so we only saw about 50% of the typical traffic volumes for a weekend. And so thank you very much to everyone that went a little bit out of their way to avoid the area. Uh, that really is appreciated. Uh, kept the local streets moving and, uh, you know, kept people out of our, our work zone and our detour routes. So that is appreciated. Uh, it was one less uh, headache that we we had to worry about, so that was great. All right, um, I'm Matt O'Donnell, Public Information Officer. This was Andrew Baskerville, uh, one of the key people for construction out here. And uh, thanks a lot, Andrew. We really Thank appreciate you. it.